G'day everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum. Uh, I can't remember what episode we're on right now. I think it might be 138 or maybe 39, something along those lines. But uh, anyway, hope you're all doing well and uh, still obviously enjoying the uh, real world festivities. Uh, yesterday we went into the deep mines. I completely forgot about all of the keys. And so we ended up just sort of gathering resources and we did actually fetch a couple of rubies but uh, nothing more unfortunately. Uh, as usual we're just getting started with all of the farm work but uh, yeah just sort of kicking myself uh, about not bringing all of those keys because we ended up coming across so many different treasure rooms actually so I actually haven't seen that many treasure rooms in one uh, session of the deep mines so yeah uh, maybe we should go into the deep mines again sometime soon but uh, anyway I figure uh, maybe we should get into other things for now and uh, maybe if we feel like it we could probably go tomorrow or the next day uh, and sort of do a little bit of a revenge deep mind session but uh, anyway Speaking of the deep mines, we've got a few tools that we brought with us into the deep mines that we still need to sort of look after. Uh, I've got a miner's helmet that's charging right now. Hopefully that's already full and we can charge the uh, the spare one. Uh, but also, we brought the bat zapper with us yesterday and that was very, very interesting. Um, obviously loses a lot of its power very quickly, so... Uh, it's not too overpowered. Uh, it can definitely run out to... I guess if you started the day in the deep mines very early, you could find yourself, uh, I guess, uh, using the bat zapper and then sort of finding that you've ran out of durability before you even leave the, uh, the mine. Now, I'm actually going to leave this patch like uh, we did the other day. But uh, this time round, before we uh, finish up, we should actually check and, and take a look uh, at whether or not people actually have helped us with uh, watering the crops. But uh, anyway, that's all the farming. Uh, sorry, that's all the watering for now. Uh, we just need to grab all these other things. So milking and we need to shear fay. Very good. Um, food situation still looking good in the silo, so uh, no issues there. And I think the only thing left to do for us right now is feed Spike. There he is over there. Uh, let's just put a few of our tools away. And... I am going to actually bring the Bat Zapper with us into town and I want to quickly check if we can actually recharge that or not. Uh, I have a feeling it's not something rechargeable, unfortunately, but uh, we'll soon find out. Um, I'm looking for... ah yes, meat. There we go. So where did Spike go? Oh, goodness me. I'm not happy that he uh, <laughs> that he runs off to the river. Very, very unhappy about that. Uh, let's see if we can quickly call him here. Come on. Come on. Alright. There you go. That's your breakfast. Good boy. Alright. Well, uh, let's get the day started. Head into town and uh, see if there's a new festive task since uh, it is still the festive month uh, sorry the festive month um, we should try and get all of the festive tasks done or as many of them done as possible I wonder if you get to keep all of the festive items uh, and you know those cherry trees also I wonder if you get to keep all of those um, I don't know. I, I sort of just haphazardly placed all of the cherry, <laughs> the cherries uh, everywhere. Uh, I'm wondering if I shouldn't have done that. 
There we go. Another investigation request. We will get into that very shortly. But uh, for now, I just want to put away our massive stash of ores here. That's basically the main thing that we got done uh, yesterday. So we've got our bat wings here. We still don't have enough, obviously, for the bat statue. I can't remember exactly how many we will actually need. Uh, I have a feeling it's like a, around 25 or so. Um, which seems like a lot considering how slow it is for us to collect all of them. But uh, anyway, let's get a few things started here. So got the cheese and the wool going. Uh, let's put the miner's helmet away. I'll just chuck that there. So we've got the spare one, but before we actually start recharging the spare one, I want to see if we... Ah, oh, awesome. That is great. So, uh, my theory was wrong. I, I had initially thought that the, uh, the bat zapper was going to be something that sort of runs out completely and we would have to craft another one, but, uh... That doesn't seem to be the case, uh, and that's a, a welcome surprise, actually, because uh, those things cost heaps of money and heaps of resources as well. So, just going to put a few more things away. We probably don't need to bring our brews with us anymore. Um, cheese can go in there. Got the spare lamington. Actually, that's... Uh, Let's grab one of those lamingtons, just in case. Now, we don't really have much meat on a stick anymore, right? So, I don't know. Should we grab other stuff? Maybe. This gives us stamina more so than anything else. Or we can bring some bottled brew. Watermelons give us quite a bit of health as well. Hmm. I reckon we'll uh, actually craft a few things here, uh, just so that we've got a little bit of a supply. Um, let's see, what else do we want? Probably make some meat pies, uh, if I can remember what's required. But anyway, let's quickly check here. Yep, we've got the ingredients for meat pies. Uh, but we do need some more meat though. So I could have made some meat on a stick, but uh, anyway. Let's also just do a couple of loaves of bread. Or maybe three. And yeah, doesn't seem too bad. Let's put some of this stuff away, uh, and for now though, we'll focus on just eating uh, these limes, and in the emergency situations, we will probably have a sausage roll, um, or a lamington, for that matter. Yeah, they both give the same amount of health and stamina back, but different buffs, uh, sorry, different buffs, I suppose. So... Let's start grinding some shiny stone as well. Should have put a few things away in the farm, but anyway. And yeah, that's looking good. And we'll probably put all of our plain stones back there. Whoops. Sorry guys. Misclick there. Uh, let's chuck all of that there, and... Ah yes, we've got the jolly hat, forgot about that. Uh, we should actually put that on. And now we're really looking the part. So, let's sell off our rubies that we discovered yesterday. Ah, I see you've got a nice ruby there. Looks like this one weighs around 4.7 kilos. How does 84,000 sound? Oh, and that's, uh... Pretty nice. 
Hopefully this one's a little bit bigger. Oh, darn. <laughs> this one's very small. Uh, almost half the size as the previous one. All right. Uh, let's see. Next order of things, I think we should really uh, think about... Uh, actually, sorry, let's quickly check what's in here. A Nordic bedside table. I'm not entirely sure if we have one, but uh, anyway. I was going to try and recharge the uh, the miner's hat, but uh, it looks like the bat zapper is taking a very long time to recharge. Uh, but as I was saying, guys, I think maybe the next order of things is going to be uh, completing the festive task. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure what else we should get into today, guys. Perhaps we can take a look at what else we can get from Franklin, crafting-wise. Um, so that's a cheese maker. We've already got that. Yes. Let's see what you can make it uh, for us, Franklin. So we've got all three of these. The next thing that we can probably craft is this chainsaw. Um, but do we really need a chainsaw? That's the, the question. Uh, I mean, it'll probably make cutting down a lot of trees a lot easier, but... It's not really that hard to cut down trees with the normal axe. Um, although I have probably all of the materials that we need for it already. Um, gacha machine. Okay. So this kind of looks pretty interesting. Maybe we should get one of these uh, and place it in town. And I think what it does is it gives you a random item every so often. Uh, oh, you have to place money in it though. So, uh, yeah, that might be interesting. Let's just track that for a second, but let's take a look at other stuff here. So I'm not entirely sure what the tractor will do for us. Probably like, uh, I don't know, maybe till the soil um, in very, very large quantities. Or we can uh, try and save up for a helicopter, which is three million. We'll probably also need the uh, the license for that one before we can even build it. We definitely don't have bright wires for that. So this one doesn't need bright wires. It's good to know. All right, let's get the gacha machine, and that'll be something to look forward to for tomorrow. Uh, let's actually get this done first because uh, he does close at like around four o'clock or so. So we need button boards, old toys, glass bulbs, iron bars, which we probably need to make actually. So we've got a couple. Actually, that's, that's all we need, uh, which is good. I might actually just start smelting some of our iron ores uh, just because we're likely to need it anyway but uh, what else do we need old gears there we go uh, and we can grind the last of our shiny stone here's our bat zapper which has done uh, an amazing job in keeping all of those bats away uh, Let's recharge the spare Miner's Helmet. And... Let's continue to smelt a few more iron ores. Put everything back here. Alright, and let's commission this gacha machine. Uh, there it is. 
So, you're interested in my gacha machine. It will be very handy to have, I can assure you. Now, to make that item, I will require the components and 70,000. I'll also require a day or so to make it. Do we have an agreement? Let's make it. Excellent. Actually guys, uh, one thing that I should point out, uh, someone mentioned in the comments that Franklin might actually be a she. Because uh, if you sort of look closely, uh, and I'm going to start calling her uh, a she now because she's actually got a dress underneath the lab coat there. So <laughs> I only really just realized that once uh, I read that comment. Uh, so yeah, I think I think Franklin is uh, in fact uh, uh, a lady. So <laughs> anyway. I'll begin right away. It'll probably take all night, but I assure you it will be ready by tomorrow. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Okay, there you go. So, let's just put a few of our spare uh, knickknacks and crafting materials away. The bat zapper. I think we can probably leave the bat zapper here together with some of the mining tools. Alright. And uh, I'll actually take some of our paths back. And uh, we might actually place a few paths down if we, uh, we actually have the time for it. Uh, which I, I think we will have the time for it. Um, and, uh, if we are going to do that, we're probably going to need maybe the compactor with us as well. Uh, yesterday we actually got one of these striped boogie boards, which is really, really cool. I might actually, uh, do, uh, maybe a fishing session or something like that. Actually, I've just realized that we've got, like, some tools here that we forgot to repair. But, uh, yeah, we might actually do, like, a fishing session where we sort of swim around with the boogie board one day because it definitely helps you get around a lot faster um ah yes my statue collection <laughs> all right so let's take a look at where we need to do this investigating okay so that's the spot there now there's a a road that is sort of semi-broken that we need to complete. I just can't remember where it is. Ah, just here. That's actually really convenient. So it's sort of on the way. All right. Well, let's get the show on the road. Let's see if we can discover what new items we can get from the Santa sack. Uh, we've got a couple of days remaining, guys, to sort of really think about setting up the automated farm for next season so uh, I might actually think about laying things down tonight even if we don't actually have any crops in there um, at the very least we can sort of start planning things out and uh, look <laughs> it's probably not gonna be like the most efficient thing you've ever seen because uh, you know I'm not all about um, I guess what's the term? The gaming term is like min-maxing stuff, you know? Um, where you're, you're getting things in, in a, an ultra-efficient manner. But that's okay, I'm, I'm not really, um, aiming for that, if that makes sense. Alright, so... Let's see what prezzies we've been given this time. Okay, so elf ears, cherries, and another jolly shirt. Not bad. Uh, although, I mean, <laughs> there we go. We can we could probably keep the elf ears. I I prefer the magnificent beard though, to be honest. But uh, we'll rock the elf ears for a little bit. And then maybe we can go back to the beard for tomorrow. Uh, Alright. 
Now, time to fix up the road. Finally get like a decent road going. Ar uh, around that side. Um, whoops. Uh, actually, I've just noticed, but there's a lot more of these uh, desert peas around. Um, I guess before they seem to be a little bit more rare. So that's kind of nice. Uh, since we're here and we can do it, we might as well just uh, dig up treasures as well. But uh, anyway, ooh, actually, I didn't see this, guys. What is this? A candy axe. So what does that do exactly? It's just um. Uh. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure what it does exactly, guys. Is, is does it just basically make a sound? Uh, or... Or does it do anything special? I'm guessing it just makes the sound. So, uh... You can be... Semi-entertained. While you... Chop down... Trees. Which sounds a little bit weird, but anyway. Uh, do we need to clear up anything else? I don't think so. Let's just compact this soil all the way. Alright, good stuff. Probably just need to widen this a little bit. Nice bit of uh, spin effects there for uh, whatever crafting we may need. We sort of ran out of spin effects the other day, didn't we? Uh, we ended up making a few scarecrows with it, but uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm noticing uh, the sound effects are definitely a lot lower, and that's uh, thanks to me changing the settings. I think one of you guys sort of mentioned that... Uh, I sort of needed to do that because the... <laughs> specifically the sound of some of the trees falling sounded like they were exploding uh, in people's ears. So I do apologize guys if, uh, <laughs> if that's been the case for a very long time. But, uh, you know, in my defense, I did uh, recently write a post asking for some feedback on the sound levels and all that sort of stuff because I do want to get it right guys. So. If you feel that there's anything that I can do better, uh, or, you know, you've got suggestions on how to improve the quality of these videos, then, uh, you know, I'm all ears. Um, I'm quite new to the whole YouTube thing, and obviously trying to work really, really hard to, you know, get things, uh, as high quality as they can be, but, uh, you know, it's a learning experience for me, so any feedback definitely helps. Uh, so I think my thought process is I sort of want to try and get a little bit of a forest thing going on here surrounding the road. I think that might look quite nice, but uh, that also means that we sort of need to cut a few of the trees down to get their uh, pine cones. Now that one can regrow there, but we will take 
the extra one and put it around here somewhere. And maybe we'll just do one more. All right. Ah, oh, darn. That's only one pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll take this one and I think with this one, we might actually plant it like somewhere here. All right, doesn't look too bad. Should we try and spread some of the grass there? I'm not entirely sure. Again, uh, guys, I, I tried the whole thing with uh, trying to plant some grass. Uh, twice in the same patch, but that's not really making the grass any taller. So I'm not totally sure what's going on with growing tall grass. If any, any of you guys have any advice on that, uh, do let me know because that's still a little bit of a mystery for me. Um, I would like to be able to make the grass grow a little bit taller, especially at the farm. Um, let's see if we can grab a few more. Actually running out of stamina, aren't we? Alright, and let's continue cutting a few more, uh, what, tufts of grass? Bunches of grass? I don't know. I don't know what the right word is there, but uh, anyway. All right, that'll have to do for now. Actually, still got one. There we go. All right, so next up, uh, I think it might be a good idea for us to head back into the farm. Oh my lord. Sorry guys. I knew that was going to happen sooner or later. Actually, uh, I've just realized, but this uh, bridge over here probably needs a little bit of elevating, doesn't it? Uh, that could be an activity that we get up to tonight if we wanted to do that. Um, hmm. The problem is we don't exactly have the amount of steps required. We only have one. I suppose we can come back and uh, create a few more steps and lay them down here. Uh, so that's not such a bad idea. I might actually come back tomorrow and do that. But uh, this is the time where I uh, sort of keep thinking, oh, I should have brought this, I should have brought that, and uh, this time it is really that soil printer. <laughs> I wish I had the soil printer with me. Um, oops. There we go. And we'll just continue to steal a little bit of soil from this side. Um, does that look right? Actually. I think I think we started the bridge from that side, right? So we probably need to get rid of these two paths and lay some more soil down. There we go. Now we just need to work on the other side. It is 10 o'clock already, so getting a little bit late. So... Is that right? 
Actually, you know what, guys? Uh, I just realized this is already on some level of elevation, right? So we could probably just do something like that instead, which uh, makes a little bit more sense. Uh, because the real goal here is just making sure that there's enough space underneath the the bridge. So uh, if we ever take the boat past, we uh, we can essentially get through without any issue. So yeah, sorry guys. Uh, I think that looks okay. Let's just try and lay the bridge down once more. There we go. Cool. And now we just need these stone steps. We've got one. Uh, just place that down for now, but we will need to come back here and place some more stone steps. Uh, once we do eventually craft them. Hmm. Alright. Let's get back to the farm. And yeah, I think we should really start the process of thinking about how we're going to lay out the farm for next season. Because we have today and we have tomorrow to do that. So not a lot of time at all. And uh, I should actually think about beautifying the town a little bit more, shouldn't I? Um, I probably need to craft a few more benches. Perhaps maybe I should also get crafting those uh, those pots so we can actually, you know, keep various types of flowers and whatnot. Uh, something's going on there. Stuff's a little bit janky. <laughs> um... I mean, this is sort of janky central here, because uh, we've got, like, the hover jet ski going on. <laughs> Different uh, chooks bumping into each other. Uh, Alright, so. Automated farm. How are we going to do this? So we've already got one of our water towers set up here. But I suppose the idea is I do want to get the manual farm moved over onto this side so that it can be a little bit closer to the town. But we've got all sorts of things already growing there, so I'm I'm really sort of not keen on trying to destroy everything and start again because I think that that'll be a little bit counterintuitive. Um Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we should just set up the automated farm around this side. But anyway, let's just get a few things started here. I think the first order of things is we're just going to need to clear the area. And I'm just uh, thinking about all of the replanting that we're going to have to do. Not looking forward to that. Uh... Good thing we picked up those bananas. And just a little more. And once we've just cleared up some of these trees, I think we'll call it a night. But I think this area we will definitely um, create into our automated farm. Uh, the question is, what are we going to grow in the automated farm as well? So that's a... Uh, Another thing that I'm not entirely sure of. The way the sprinklers work, so it gives you essentially, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles. So you can grow eight crops from one sprinkler. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you can have, like, a total of 16 crops growing at the same time in the one sort of... Uh, fenced off area, perhaps? Maybe. Not entirely sure. Um, 
let's see what's in here. Or actually, maybe we'll we'll bring it home with us for now, and uh, we'll check it out tomorrow, right and early. Not a bad day, guys. Uh, I think we managed to do a few interesting things. I mean, we we've got these elf ears now, which is fantastic. Um, but I do still prefer the beard. And we've got this weird candy axe thing, which I think really just makes a noise. <laughs> There's uh, nothing else that's special about it, aside from how it looks and how it sounds. Uh, and yeah, we fixed up some roads. Pretty standard day, if you ask me, but it is a standard festive day. But anyway, enough from me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.